This channel is devoted to encouraging its viewers to do it by yourself. Gardening, landscaping, culinary, and other God-given talents create an absolutely invigorating, peaceful, and a uniquely nurturing and holistic lifestyle. Living spaces, large and small, can benefit from these budget-friendly tasks and projects. So take this journey with Ms. Marvin. You have one life to live, so engage in it with passion. Hello, good morning. Right now it's about 47 degrees here in zone 8. And Ms. Marvin has another fabulous project for you. I don't know if I'm calling projects, but adventure. Something you might be interested in doing um, because that's what captivated my imagination. Okay, so like I said, we're doing a series about adding color to your garden. And you see my colorful pots. These pots are left over from when I bought bought plants and things in the in the store. You can see clearance. Now, let's get right into it. We're talking about saving money and designing your own cold frame. And you might say, okay, once again, Ms. Marvel, why are you interested in a cold frame? Well, I got the specific reasons why I am, and you might and that I what happened. I had some leftover windows from a project that went south. <laughs> it didn't work out right, <laughs> and I and I, I I just couldn't throw them away. So I've had these windows for maybe about I don't know nine, maybe about nine years, and I have two more. Okay, so what happened? I'm gonna tell you surprisingly because right now I want you to see the before pictures. You're gonna see some uh, several before pictures of what this looked like, and. And this is not to complete. I am not thoroughly through with this. I just got to get it so far so that when spring comes, I'll be able to uh, do something with it, which I'm gonna show you real fast in a minute. But with this, with this, when we, and this is where more work comes in, but when we lift this up, if you look over in here, when, when we lift this up, I'm going to be putting uh, seed flats and different things over in here because really what it does, this extends your season and you're able to uh, give your plants a jump start. Uh, the old, even though these old windows and everything, I, uh, and hold on a minute because I want to show you something. Just hold on a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Now, let's look over here. This is a deck box that I don't use for that. I use it for storing some of my materials because as you know, my greenhouse, I try to straighten it up, but I keep messing up again. But this contains a lot of my products that I use uh, in my gardens and different things like that. But once again, you might say, Marvin, your cold frame has a lot of places where air can do it. Now, I want to, to you, I want to say this. You should place it where it's south or southeast facing so it can get as much sun as it can, all right? Given the trees, when you look up, <laughs> given the trees and everything. Now, the sun, if you look, you see the sun is coming through there. When spring, I don't know which way the sun go get it, but if we look at it, we see the sun is trying to get at it some kind of way. And so, I think God will look out for me. I just, I believe that. Now, why I have this, I was told that it should be a foot off the ground. It should be a foot. And if you can look and see, the front should be like a foot. Ah, that's 11 and a half, that's close enough. <laughs> Let's look at the back. The back should be one and a half times. So you can look, I'm gonna leave this here for you to, Hold on a minute. Okay, you can come around and look at that. Uh, I will say, well, it's close to a foot and a half, and that's good enough for who? Me. <laughs> so, because what you do, you always do your very best 
and then you let God do the rest, whatever you do. Because right now, it's like, it's hard. we got a bunch of different things going on that are not to totally amazing and wonderful. There are things you could be stressed about, but oh no, I've done my best with it, and I've turned the rest over to the Lord, Lord, so I can be fine. Now, this came on some, this heavy plastic, I'm going to use to cover this up as far as the, wherever the, the holes and acid get in. I'm going to put this, because you can use veils, you're supposed to use something, you can put this up against the house or a building, up against a building or something. And you can use some straw veils or whatever you can to, to, to back, to come to the back of this, but not block the soil. So, what I'm gonna do, and this is building the planet state, now I, I believe it's gonna work, because you know I'm a believer. I'm definitely a believer, and I hope you are too. Even good, it's gonna come your way. And I hope, and all of that. So, we will put this down, like this. That's gonna block that excess air from coming in. If not, I have some more, I have a whole bunch of more clear plastic, but it has to be clear, it can't be black, remember that. It has to be clear. So I just wanted to let you know. Now you might say, oh, Miss Marvin, I don't have an old window. I don't have any old windows recycled. What I would say once again, uh, enthusiastically, and that's our word for today, what? Enthusiastically. Be lively and excited and create your own enthusiasm as you lock down. You lock down. You want to keep your mind together, you better try to come up with something. And so that's why Miss Marvin always trying to think about this and that because she's trying to stay in her what? Right mind. I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay in my right mind. So create your own excitement and enjoy yourself. Now, I want to go back to, I put my, put my seat down somewhere, but good thing I'm halfway to know. So once again, I'm going to emphasize. You want to put in a location around your house. You probably have more sun. Put this in a location um, where it, you can get maximum amount of sun. If you get a whole lot of sun, then you're going to have to figure out a way to lift it up. Now, my another part is no power tools. No power tools required. You can go online. You can see some other ones where you, that are complicated. So if you're the kind you want something real complicated, they do have complicated ones out there. I was not interested in anything complicated. Even though this is about users of uh, recycled windows, for those of you who don't have it, order yourself some of these little baby looking things. And, and you're gonna stick the hoops in the ground. You're gonna stick the hoops in the ground. Then you can get you some tarts. And put the tart, you're gonna put these different, I did about four, you're gonna put them in different spots and cover that with tarts, okay? If you can't do that, here's another trick for you. This is a tote. People put books, they put all kinds of stuff in it. You can uh, put this on top of, get this. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to. You can put it on top of the ground, like that. Oh, sorry about that whole item. <laughs> I didn't realize that one had hold it. But anyway, you can put that down and put some basement stuff on there and help help uh, keep the frost extend the season. So back to the and I'm gonna finish up now so you know. When it comes to this, my plans are these. These are my plans. Look. Because you know I always have to have plans. I always figure out a way to plan for something. Take these off here. Order these online. Yes, you know. I am going to. This says survival. And that's what we all want to survive. What's going on right now? I'm doing my best. You better try to do your best. I got some garden seeds. That kid, I got this. I got all kinds of things I ordered. And, and if I don't want to. If I can't get this, whoops. if I can't get this with the pack, waste of money with that. 
I'm gonna use some what? Egg cotton, punch some holes in it. Big ass and stuff. And I can start them and I got my seed mats. Things like seeding mats. And I'm gonna plug in so, so when it comes to me, I tell y'all, I told y'all if I was doing one thing, I was doing something else. Here's some more <laughs> heirloom seeds. I told y'all I was doing something else. Look, when it comes to that, and then all of these two. So when it comes to like staying active, positive, we own it. Now, when I did go online and do some research about this, look at my little thing. Down there in that right? When I, when I put this in, you can see how we extended it. I don't want y'all to see too much on the I just took it on out. And so it's still doing fine. These are still alive in 40 something degree weather. Go finger, right? Now, we, I did a checklist to see how far I came to um, making sure that when it came to this, when it came to my um, program, cold frame slash greenhouse, and I checked to see with some uh, research. Um, we, we, we came in because it's extended season. It gives us a chance to jumpstart. So when before spring comes, I'm gonna be back over here uh, working with this. Less work for me. Uh, so that's what all this is about. Everything I'm doing is so that when spring comes, I can just tip along and not work myself to death. These thunder blocks, so what you would need, like the cinder blocks, I did not buy the cinder blocks specifically for this. I had another idea and project in mind, but that didn't work out right for the cinder blocks. So then, I don't know. I guess imagination. Oh, I know what, creativity. Creativity is the intersection of imagination and um, Enthusiasm and um, cleverness. Okay, I believe I got most of that right. But anyway, so these cost maybe about $1.50 each. And I'm excited over it. We're going to see what happens. Uh, we're going to hope for the best. And that's what I believe in. Oh, when I was telling you about the, my soil mix, I got about six days of this already now. And I'm going to be doing two parts. It's not that down, I really need to be starting like that. <laughs> it's gonna be two bales, two pods, heat mold. Um, and then it's gonna be one part compost. And I'm going to be getting, I, I'm going to be putting in um, the plant chong and um, earthworm castings, you can see. You can look and see the earthworm castings and different things like that and mix up my own in my wheelbarrow. And I hope you know those wheelbarrows I just put it. Well, now, anyway, I'm back. <laughs> I want to show you something. You might say, and this is a table, I mean, don't worry about it. I'm not going to do myself. Okay. Now you hold on, you wait a minute. As the folks say, I want you to be surprised. You just hold on. First thing I want to take out is peppers. These are the last peppers I pulled from my garden. Okay, you might say, you know what you're gonna do with those peppers? Well, I think what I'm gonna do. Look at this. These are some bell pepper and different other kind of peppers. I try to make sure I tell you what to make, right? Look at that. These are the last ones that I pulled from my garden. And what does it say? Chili. <laughs> I'm gonna make me a pot of chili with, these are tomatoes that were frozen from my garden. Bring some of the garden. And I'm gonna use the peppers because I'm a, well, hey, what the heck, look, I love to cook. I like to think of myself as a chef. Nobody's around to tell me I'm not right. So you can be whatever you want to be. Remember that. You don't need folks to tell you. And I am a southern cook. So I'm going to use my uh, kidney beans. <laughs> oh, you like kidney beans, my chili. And uh, after I get through talking to you, 
I'm gonna make myself a big batch of what? Chili. Now, before I go, and I'm over here, I started going here with that, but I tell you, I want to say, once again, I want you to be blessed, stay safe, and uh, we always have a positive attitude, but your positive attitude comes from being engaged with things, um, interconnected with nature, and if you look over that way, you just look, just look, and look up at the sky. And I keep emphasizing because this, get this, I thought it was gonna be a terrible, dreary day, but the Lord knew that I wanted to, to try to encourage you. Once again, there's the sun, what? Beaming on my face, I'm still alive, I'm still breathing, as long as you're alive, you're still breathing, there is what? H-O-P-E, hope, okay? And so with a smile, not being upset about it, with a smile, I'll say, approach each day in a positive way, have music that, that inspires you. I was listening to Josh Groban last night saying the song, but uh, I believe, which I do believe, John P. Key and all these folks, like that. And so that's what you do. So if some dark clouds try to come into your mind, you push those away, listen to some wonderful music or something and get started and, uh, and be active, get outside. It helps to keep you healthy. Okay, and uh, with that, love and kisses to y'all and uh, happy holidays. I hope I get to see you. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and hit the notifications button. We'll see you again next time.